What's up guys, my name is Taneli and I make art videos. Now one common way for artists to practice is to study a famous painting and then try to recreate it. But I had this idea, what if I tried to recreate famous paintings without actually looking at them just by relying on my memory? Would they be accurate or just plain silly? Let's find out. So I actually saw a picture of this painting yesterday, which gave me the idea to make this video. So let's see how well can I remember it today and start with the background. I remember the background being rather dark, but I'm not 100% sure which shade it is. So I'm just gonna go with dark brown because old paintings tend to look like that. So basically the painting is a woman looking over her shoulder. So I'm just going to try to put together everything I remember now. I know the sketch looks rather hideous, but it's there just to give me a general idea of what I'm trying to do. Just cleaning it up a bit, trying to think of the features a bit more. I think it's about as good as it gets, so I'm just gonna start painting and see what happens. I know the light is coming from the left side, so I just try to add light skin tones to where, where I think the light should be. And now I'm doing the same thing with the shadows. I'm using a very round brush because it makes me feel a bit like I'm carving a sculpture. Uh, light is to elevate and shadows to dig deeper. I think it's really helpful when you're trying to paint portraits to think it like this. Maybe shape the lips out a little. Oh wow, that's very bright. I think I have to fix that later. Okay, so I left these eyeballs here on the sketching face, but they are looking so cursed that I'm going to have to paint her some eyes now. Starting to have some rough shapes for the eyes. I think I should probably check how this looks from further out. Jesus Christ, that actually looks <laughs> really cursed. But no worries, you can always fix everything. Let's give her a bit of a smile. <laughs> She's starting to look a bit like that, could you not meme? I think I really have to paint her some eyebrows. I'm not sure if she actually has eyebrows in the original painting, but I have no idea how to not paint eyebrows huh? and not have the person like look like they're about to possess your spirit or something. I don't know if the eyebrows actually made it any better. At this point it's really difficult for me to remember what the original even looked like. It's like my painting and the original have sort of mashed together in my brain and I can no longer think which one is which, even though I'm pretty sure this looks nothing alike at this point. I think I'm going to move on from the face and finish it later. I remember she is wearing this blue scarf or turban thingy with this yellow, I, I don't know what you call this. Now it actually looks like she is wearing a beanie. Now I remember she has this uh, white color on her shirt, so... And the shirt is definitely yellow, but I'm not sure what type of shapes are there. Let's just add a little bit of shadows to the back. I almost forgot the earring, <laughs> even though it's in the name of the painting. I mean, it's starting to come together, but I think I need to give her a bit of a facial surgery, unfortunately. I'm sorry, forgive me. Okay, I, I think that's better. But I still think I have to liquefy the shit out of her. Uh, I'm not sure about the phrasing of that one. I feel like she doesn't have hair in the original, but I still feel like I should probably add some. Yeah, I'm just gonna try painting her some hair and see if I like it. And just a touch of highlights. I'm starting to think this is about as good as it's going to get, honestly. So let me just clean this up real quick and show you the final result. So here is my final painting and some drum roll please while I search for the original. And here. Well, I mean, uh, it looks like hair was invented after 17th century. I had a bit of a feeling, but at least I didn't forget the airing. So it's another day, another painting. I decided to whip out the classic paint for this one, just for all the Microsoft Paint fans. But honestly, I just needed an excuse for what's about to happen because I don't really feel like I remember it that well, so... Apologies for what you're about to see. So I remember it's very loosely painted with brush strokes that look like they are flowing. So this is what I'm trying to go after. Starry, starry night. I probably shouldn't do that. I just get this video copyright claim. Honestly though, uh, I would be more proud than mad if they recognized the song from that. This is like the starry night from Wish. You know how it's like the most used painting ever in all sorts of merchandise? Now imagine you ordered a pillow with the print and you got this instead. I feel like I'm losing whatever flow there was to this painting. I'm just gonna paint some flowy lines on top of this. 
I'm pretty sure this is not how Van Gogh painted this. And I'm not just talking about the Microsoft Paint, even though it is a rather ancient program. The more I'm painting, the worse I feel like it's getting. Problem with Microsoft Paint is that you can only really go forward. So this is not going how I imagined. <laughs> I feel like the more time I spend on this, the worse it's going to get. So here is my painting and here is the original. Let's not even talk about this one. You never saw anything. So it's day three for painting number three. No more fooling around. This one's for all the marbles. I'm going to create so accurate replica that I'll get sued for art forgery. Cue the epic music, let's go. So I'll be honest for this painting, I got so focused on the painting process that I pretty much just forgot to say anything while I was painting. So I figured I'll just narrate my thoughts in after and just let the painting time lapse play out as it is. This way you also get to see a bit more of the actual painting process and my face moving at about 50 times speed. So I guess have fun with that. Anyway, some of the reasons why I chose to paint The Wanderer about the Sea of Fog by Caspar David Friedrich is that first of all it's a painting I remember well. After all it's one of my favorite paintings of all time. And secondly because it's more alike to the style that I normally like to paint. Meaning it's realistic but has this almost fantasy-like elements which was typical for this 19th century era of romantic painters. This painting also flows really well as a painting process because everything connects together beautifully, starting from the sky on the background to the hills and mountains covered in this fog of clouds. And then you have the man standing on top of a rock on the foreground, which I will paint in just a moment. Now, even though I had a pretty good memory of the overall composition, it's the details that are a bit blurry and I had to figure out. Luckily this painting is mostly all about everything being covered in clouds, so it wasn't really all that difficult to figure it out, even if I couldn't remember the exact details. Now, people have been asking me why don't I ever zoom in when I do painting time-lapse videos, and the reason is that it becomes completely unwatchable, as you can see here. Since I was supposed to talk during the painting process and only show short clips here and there, I zoomed in and out freely. But since I didn't do that this time, and only sped up the whole video, here you can see what the faster painting time lapses look when I paint normally. So hopefully that answers that question and you're not about to throw up from the nausea. So sorry about that one. Anyway, since the rest of the footage looks like this and is pretty much just unwatchable, let's just leave a bit of mystery in and skip straight to the final result. So here is my final painting and here is the original. Could you mistake these for each other? Well. Probably not, but at least it's much closer than the previous one. So what did I learn from this small painting experiment? Well, first of all, it's very difficult to paint realistic faces from memory. And recreating something you don't remember in a style you don't know, even more so. But all in all, I had fun trying it. Hope you had fun too. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe and bye for now.